The MH-60 Seahawk is one of the most important helicopters in the U.S. Navy, playing a crucial role in naval operations worldwide. Based on the legendary UH-60 Black Hawk, the Seahawk has been specifically modified for maritime operations, allowing it to operate from aircraft carriers, destroyers, cruisers, and amphibious assault ships. Its versatility makes it an essential part of the Navy's fleet, performing missions ranging from anti-submarine warfare and search and rescue to logistics, medical evacuations, and special operations. Developed by Sikorsky Aircraft, the Seahawk first entered service in the early 1980s as a response to the Navy's need for a reliable multi-role helicopter that could handle the challenging conditions of the open sea. Unlike its land-based counterpart, the MH-60 features corrosion-resistant materials, folding rotors and tail for shipboard storage, and specialized avionics designed for maritime operations. Over the years, it has evolved into several variants, with the two primary models in service today being the MH-60R Romeos and MH-60S Sierra. Together, these two helicopters provide the Navy with unmatched operational flexibility, ensuring that no matter the mission, there is a Seahawk ready for the job. The MH-60R Seahawk, also known as the Romeo, is designed primarily for anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. Equipped with advanced sonar systems, including dipping sonar and sonoboys, the MH-60R can detect and engage enemy submarines with Mark 54 lightweight torpedoes. It is also armed with AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, making it effective against enemy ships and surface threats. The helicopter's state-of-the-art radar electro-optical sensors and electronic warfare systems allow it to gather intelligence, track enemy vessels, and support naval strike operations. The MH-60S Seahawk, or Sierra, is built for utility and combat support missions. It is commonly used for search and rescue, medical evacuations, vertical replenishment, and special operations. Unlike the MH-60R, the MH-60S does not have a dipping sonar, but it can be armed with machine guns, rocket pods, and AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, allowing it to provide fire support for ground and naval forces. It also plays a key role in mine countermeasures, detecting and neutralizing naval mines to keep sea lanes safe. While the MH-60R is primarily deployed on destroyers, cruisers, and aircraft carriers, the MH-60S is more commonly found on amphibious ships, supply vessels, and naval bases. The MH-60 Seahawk is a high-performance helicopter designed to operate in some of the world's most extreme maritime conditions. It has a maximum speed of 180 knots, a range of 380 nautical miles, and a flight endurance of approximately three to four hours depending on mission load and fuel capacity. Its service ceiling of 12,000 feet allows it to operate in various environments, from low-altitude sea level operations to high-altitude mountain rescue missions. The Seahawk can be armed with a variety of weapons, including AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, Mark 54 torpedoes, GAU-21.50 caliber machine guns, and M247.62 mm machine guns. Additionally, it can be equipped with an in-flight refueling system, significantly extending its operational range for long-distance missions. This makes the Seahawk an invaluable asset for extended maritime patrols and combat operations. The MH-60 Seahawk is a highly capable and advanced aircraft, and that capability comes at a significant cost. Depending on the variant and equipment configuration, each MH-60 costs between $28 million and $42 million per unit. Despite this, it remains a cost-effective investment for the U.S. Navy due to its modular design upgrade potential and long service life. The Navy currently operates over 500 MH-60 Seahawks, making it one of the most widely used helicopters in its fleet. 
The MH-60 Seahawk is deployed all over the world, supporting U.S. military operations across multiple regions. It operates from colon. Aircraft carriers, such as the USS Gerald R. Ford and USS Nimitz, providing fleet protection and combat support. Destroyers and cruisers, where it conducts anti-submarine warfare and maritime surveillance. Amphibious assault ships, assisting U.S. Marine Corps operations. Naval bases worldwide, stationed in strategic locations in the Pacific, Atlantic, Middle East, and beyond. The Seahawk has been involved in anti-piracy patrols off the coast of Africa, high-risk submarine hunting missions in the Pacific, and humanitarian aid missions around the world. Its ability to quickly launch from ships, execute its mission, and return safely makes it one of the most versatile and effective aircraft in naval aviation. As the U.S. Navy modernizes its fleet, the MH-60 Seahawk continues to receive upgrades to keep it at the cutting edge of military aviation. Future improvements include enhanced radar and sensor systems for better detection and targeting, upgraded mission software with AI-assisted intelligence gathering, and improved engine performance for longer flight endurance. The Seahawk is also being integrated with unmanned aerial systems, such as the MQ-8 Fire Scout drone allowing for more advanced reconnaissance and surveillance capabilities. Although the U.S. military is developing next-generation vertical lift aircraft, the MH-60 is expected to remain in service well into the 2040s. Its proven reliability, adaptability, and multi-mission capability ensure that it will continue to play a critical role in naval operations for decades to come. The MH-60 Seahawk is more than just a helicopter, it is a lifeline for the U.S. Navy. Whether tracking enemy submarines, rescuing sailors, delivering supplies, or engaging hostile forces, this aircraft is irreplaceable in modern naval warfare. Its cutting-edge technology, combat-proven performance, and continuous upgrades make it one of the most versatile and powerful helicopters ever built. No matter where the U.S. Navy sails, you can be sure that the MH-60 Seahawk is there, watching over the fleet, ready to strike, protect, and save lives at a moment's notice.